Hello, my name is Cassandra Mangru and I'm Head of Scientific Operations here at BenchSide, and I'd like to welcome you to the BenchSide platform. As a team of former bench scientists, we experienced the pain of finding antibodies in the literature firsthand. We found resources like PubMed, Google Scholar, Reagent directories, and vendor websites limited and frustrating to use. So we spent the last three years developing the alternative we've always wanted. BenchSide is a reagent intelligence platform that uses machine learning technology to decode open and closed access data and present published figures with actionable experiment-specific insights, reducing time, money, and uncertainty when planning your experiments. Following this introduction is a demo video of the platform. Should you need a quick overview, please watch it. And if you ever need anything from us or have any ideas to further improve BenchSide, please reach out. We're committed to your success and grateful for your feedback. We will start by going over some search functionalities to help you quickly and easily identify the most relevant data for your antibody search. To begin, simply click on the search bar. Here, you can choose to enter a protein or gene name, for example, PCNA. In the dropdown, you can select the generic term to see all results for PCNA, or select PCNA from a specific animal of origin as indicated in the brackets. BenchSize also created a proprietary database of all known aliases for each protein and gene, so you'll be able to view all relevant data in a single search, irrespective of how that protein is cited. You also have the option of searching by clone ID, such as PC10 for PCNA, or by the catalog number of a specific antibody product. If you choose to search by protein target, simply choose the option from the dropdown to see the results. Within the figure database, you can view a list of relevant figures containing antibody usage data for your protein of interest. You can view published data from scientific papers, images provided by suppliers from in-house testing, or validation data from independent research groups such as Human Protein Atlas or ENCODE. Within our product database, you can view a list of antibody products and the figures in which they were used. In both views, you can refine your results based on your experimental context or by supplier specifications using the filters on the left-hand side. For instance, you may be interested in studying PCNA by immunohistochemistry and liver tissue. You can also specify additional antibody characteristics such as company, host, reactivity, clonality, and others. You can mouse over each figure to see the title and author of the paper, and click on the figure to examine the data. To see the full text, you can link out to the publication here. You can share this image with your colleagues by email, bookmark this image to your account, or saved within a project folder. The antibodies used in the image are shown to the left of the figure. To view more information about the antibody product, click on it. Here you are redirected to the product page within our product database. Because BenchSize algorithm has read millions of open and closed access papers, we can find out the usage pattern of a single product across the literature as shown by our rainbow feature. You can view all the figures we have associated to this product and filter them by experimental context on the left-hand side. To purchase the antibody, you can link to the supplier product page here or go back to the search to see other relevant products. You can save each search to keep track of the filters applied for later reference. Here, you can also choose to be notified when new figures or products matching your search can be found. You can access your search, bookmarks, and folders under your profile. And that brings us to the end of our demo. If there are any features you would like to see on BenchSci or have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to us at support at Thank you once again for choosing BenchSci.